What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics. And this past weekend, I went around to flea markets and yard sales looking for comics with a twist. Since I'm the PayPal Venmo generation, I rarely actually have cash on me. So I only had a $20 bill. And I thought, this is a perfect time to do an experiment. Let's see what I can get with just 20 bucks. What's important to note about this video is anybody with 20 bucks and a little bit of bargaining skills should be able to do this. Take a look. Well, what do you think the chances are? I guess we'll go find out. Well, nothing really new here, folks. This is your average looking yard sale. This is typically what you get. Lampshades, couple chairs, things like that. There was a mirror that I totally should have grabbed because we're now looking at more expensive ones online. But what can you do? I think that might have been the smallest yard sale I've ever seen. I think he had 10 items. Uh, none of them were comics. We'll keep trying. State sale. Beautiful furniture. This house had everything. Rugs, furniture, everything. Well, that was a beautiful house. I actually felt a little embarrassed showing up in my paint-soaked shirt and pants. But um, I think I might come back there and look for some rugs uh, for me and my fiancé to buy. But uh, no comics. I decided to take my $20 and go to a place where I thought I actually had a chance of getting some comics. The Golden Nugget Flea Market. There's actually rarely comics here. I go here quite frequently. Usually it's like one in 20 that I'll actually even see comics here anymore. I am usually more unlucky than lucky. However, there were some comic books here today. However, the condition versus the price couldn't really get behind what he was quoting me for. This would maybe work for a bunch of people that want to pick up some readers. However, I didn't find that it was quite at the reader price. Especially when I only had 20 bucks, this just wasn't gonna cut it. But it was still nice to rifle through and tell him what he had, so that was kinda cool. Okay guys, so I may have made this harder for myself. I had to get this. This is uh, a fondue maker. That's something me and the fiance have been looking for for a while, and it's actually exactly it's the type of copper and look that we're just going for so i did have to pick this up oh did it come with a pan oh that's actually kind of nice <laughs> okay cool um i picked this up this old fondue thing and pan uh actually just for five bucks the only problem is now i have no comics and i only have 15 dollars. so let's keep it going hopefully this didn't screw me so I actually left the flea market at this point, but my buddy who has a table set up out there uh, told me that one guy just finished setting up and that I should come back. Um, and I did. And he had a table full of like image number ones. I had to do some negotiating, but I got for a great deal. All right guys, let's take a look. All right. Oh, hello. I didn't even notice this. <laughs> okay. Youngblood, number one. Guys, we got some image number ones. This one's got a bad dog here, though. Okay, I'll have to do some work on that. Who is Shadowhawk? I have known nothing about this book. Image people, comment down below. Oh, I do know something about this one. Very nice. Is there anything on the back? Yep. Okay. Young blood number one. Very nice. Anything on the back? Neat. Now here it is. That's a that's a good one, guys. Cool. And I think this is the end. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not bad for nine bucks.
What's going on guys? Got another one. This one my mom told me about, so uh, I don't have the highest hopes. I think it's some old lady might just be knitting things. But let's see. Another classic looking yard sale right here, guys. A bunch of old ladies' cute little Christmas items. Now, ironically, if I didn't have more than six bucks at this point, I would have got some of these things. They're absolutely cute and adorable and would have looked great. Well, I saw some stuff the fiance might want, but I don't trust myself to get anything without her there, so. Oh well, better luck next time. This is unrelated to the video, but that is the spookiest parking job I've ever seen. Congrats, happy Halloween. Okay, so I'm now going to a estate sale place where I know he has comics because it's actually where I got the first appearance of Constantine. Well, I'm using this typewriter that I actually found when cleaning out the attic as kind of a bargaining chip. Let's see if he's interested and wants to do a trade. What's interesting about this place is I've actually been here before. Uh, if you guys remember that big video I did of the, the 20 yard sales or whatever, this is one of the places I went to. And thank God I remembered where it was because there were a couple comics I wanted to get here. Um, and um, some of them were gone. That's, I guess uh, someone must have taken them, but there were some comics in here that I did really want. Now, the rest of this was uh, pretty good. I actually gave him some bag and boards to put some of this stuff in. So hopefully that helps him out. Uh, but it was stuff that um, I'm not super interested in. Unfortunately, maybe I would have made an offer on this if I had more than $6. But yet, all I had was $6 and a typewriter that I found. And I wanted to kind of just use the typewriter as a bargaining chip here. While I was interested in picking up this whole collection, he uh, didn't seem to understand the price of these comics, so he was really asking for like $10 a piece for these, which is just silly. Anyone who knows comics knows that the, your, most of these that we're looking at are like 50 cent books. But this is what one 80s typewriter found in the attic was able to get me. Maybe I could have gotten more, but I'm happy with it, especially since I just found the thing. Especially that Black Panther on the end. That is classic. Next stop had a bunch of figures. Now, I don't know a thing about figures, except for that Legends of the Dark Knight um, set there. I actually had that as a kid, a couple of those. But these were pretty cool. Certainly takes me back to the Toys R Us age. Well, I told the guy my story. Told him I had six bucks left. Um, and, uh, you know, I wanted to see if I could get one. Amazingly, this dude straight up just says, you know what, I could do six bucks on all of them. So, here we go. All right, guys, perfectly for six bucks, he let me have the rest of these things. Now, I don't know anything about statues, but I feel like this has to be worth a combined more than six bucks. Here we got the pilot spawn. Yeah, these are pretty dusty, but look, I know nothing about this, but if this is pretty still sealed. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know, guys. If you know anything about that, let me know. Now, I remember these. I had these. Nightwing, what are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> Yo, come on, dude. <laughs> We're on camera. All right, well, look, that's still pretty cool. <laughs> Nightwing's got to adjust his uh, hand there, but hey. Um, yeah, guys, six bucks. We got uh, gargoyles. This brings me back. Jeez. Wow. And last but not least, Tales from the Crypt Keeper. It's the Crypt Keeper. So, um, I don't know, guys. I feel like for six bucks and to top off our $20 bill, I think we did a-okay. So I actually kind of like just having 20 bucks on me. It really allows me to not spend outside of my means. The only problem is what if someone had a Hulk 181 and they were selling it for like, I don't know, super cheap or something, like 200 bucks. That would kind of suck if you only have a $20 bill, but I don't think that that's ever going to happen. Um, moral of the story, guys, you can make it happen with 20 bucks. You just got to be a little bit savvy with your bargaining skills and just get out there and keep on hunting.
So in the end, I got a bunch of image number ones. I got one of my favorite Black Panther covers of all time. We got the 2001 Space Odyssey issue. I got a bunch of action figures and I got a copper pot pan uh, reheater, maybe fondue maker thing. All for 20 bucks. It can happen to you guys. Keep on hunting.